Pipistrelle bats are the commonest in Britain and the most likely to be seen as they speed around in the air, catching and eating small insects, such as small flies, midges and mosquitoes. There are two very similar and common species, the common pipistrelle and the soprano pipistrelle. These two bats were only identified as separate species in the 1990s and are probably most easily separated by the frequency of their echolocation calls around 45 kilohertz for the common and 55 kilohertz for the soprano. Pipistrelle bats are all quite small, with a short, blunt-ended banana-shaped tragus. The underside fur is brown and they have a post-calcarial lobe. The common pipistrelle has darkish brown fur with a black nose and face, which gives it a masked appearance. The snout of this species is more pointed than the extremely similar soprano pipistrelle, and there's no ridge between the nostrils. In the hand, the pipistrelle species can often be separated by examining the venation of their wings. These diagrams highlight the differences that can normally be found between the three pipistrelle species. Inspecting the two wing panels of interest that form a Y shape, we find that the common pipistrelle has a cross vein over the left panel and a clear panel to the right. Pipistrelles feed over a wide habitat range including woodland, hedgerows, farmland and even urban areas. Common pipistrelles roost in small crevices of trees, bat boxes and buildings often quite new and can be found in numbers of around 70 individuals in the summer. In the winter, they will usually roost singly or in small numbers. Male bats will attract females to a mating roost in the months of July to September, attracting them with song flights. The females give birth to a single youngster in June or July which is fed on its mother's milk for four weeks before foraging for itself after around six weeks. Droppings are fine in texture and usually taper at the ends. They're the size of a grain of rice.